uh, international cotton advisory committee every year they have an annual event uh, till 2019 it was a physical event after uh, the lockdown they have not yet started physical events it's a virtual event this year it's happening between 29th of november to 1st of december and uh, of course over 63 countries are member of icac and so much um, work they are doing in um, Africa and other countries, basically focusing on research and statistics, uh, sharing on uh, first-hand basis. And uh, what we foresee with them that through this uh, conference of ICAC, let us put our front foot forward that what India is here to stand for, what is happening in textiles in India. We, we understand our challenges, but we are ready to even stand up and face those challenges. This is what we want to portray. And uh, this will be visualized by um, lakhs of viewers on the World Cafe event of ICAC. Sanjay ji, your views, how can we improve sustainability in the textile supply chain? First, how do we actually define sustainability and how do we improve that? MSME segment, which is a very large segment, especially in India, uh, will only go for sustainability yeah. when the government really takes a uh, clue. And of course, we need to balance the cost-benefit analysis because we are a very uh, price-elastic country, our consumers. We have seen it in the past how we have shifted from cotton to uh, blends or polyester over the last one, one and a half years. And of course, the shift is getting more and more uh, strong. Uh, as Laliji said, cotton's uh, percentage is going to get less and less. And this current uh, last year hike is definitely going to take cotton more on a put it on a back pedestal and still, of course, uh, uh, we'll still have uh, people uh, preferring cotton. Uh, of course, it'll become a more elitist product and polyester and blends will go on. So I think so we need to, uh, the government needs to take a clue. Buyer has his limitations. Uh, it will be driven by how the consumer acts and reacts. And of course, it's going to be very location specific. Uh, developed countries will be much faster, but the underdeveloped or developing countries from a buyer point of view is going to be very, very slow. So, sir, and just true, true. from good right now to better, that is the way out. And that is uh, the, the suggestion she Sanjay Jain, MD, TT Limited has uh, made. He is the past president of City, Nitra and TSC, a very uh, renowned thought leader in textiles. And here I invite the next speaker, Dr. Vinay Kumar Choudhury, chairman, uh, control union. Um, Dr. Beneji, traceability is an increasingly important factor, but the textile value chain is long and complex. How can it be simplified and made less expensive? Nobody is as experienced as you are in the sustainability and the uh, and the organic um, cotton and textile front. Please help us uh, address this issue. Namaskar. Namaskar. Good afternoon, everybody. So it's a very good uh, discussion topic nowadays. So I heard that uh, sustainability is growing up, uh, but you know, I have a one comment on the sustainability that uh, what India is going to face the challenge of over commitment. So okay. sustainability, as uh, all the participants told that there are different definitions, but uh, as per the world definition, which we are going towards the climate change or impact assessment, which is the next future. And these two word is a budge word and India itself has a lot of sustainability. So I feel that sustainability should be talked about in real sense. So when you uh, you talk about overcommitting sustainability, then uh, the true price is not given for the work to be done. Then uh, there is a fraud in the system which get exposed. So India should not overcommit on sustainability because the true price is not given uh, for the what sustainable work is given. So that uh, is one of the point I want to add. Uh, Very important point. I, I do agree with you. And regarding traceability, it's a very common buzzword. I can say that fascinating word, farm to fashion, west to wealth, lot of traceability, you know, more than 100 traceability, beautiful software has come. But India should be prepared to talk about sustainability because traceability comes with integrity now. Mm -hmm. So if traceability is coming, uh, we can talk about various type of traceability. One is blockchain, which is coming on IT platform that, you know, you give your traceability with information. So India was known uh, from the beginning to write everything from the, our old days to write everything on paper. And uh, we were known for that. 
and that traceability has much integrity into place now just one question to all of you anyone or all of you can address is that audit fatigue is a real concern now we have been faced with uh, when audits all around us uh, 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 having started an industry from day one but now this compliance is an audit they not only come for 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 organic and sustainably uh, you know um, uh, sourcing companies but also for normal companies because this child labor and um, uh, uh, other thing compliances are not not only related to sustainable uh, um, sourcing of uh, fibers or materials so how do we address this issue what you raised uh, this multiple audits yes the multiplicity is the real fatigue causing factor right so there is a need for the people requiring this to sit together and see how much they can synchronize or make it common like literally every brand working wants its own audit they cover the same points but they don't accept each other's certificates or reports certification so to say right so uh, now um, suresh bhai coming to you and the last question all of you can have a one line or two line say on it going forward what role do you see the icac playing in the global textile industry the international cotton advisory committee well, can they do anything better than they are doing right now to support the cotton consuming or cotton producing countries i would like to comment before i comment on that yes sir I, i would like to comment on the previous speaker yes. i admire mr sanjay jain that what he tells about Uh, fatigue, audit fatigue. Uh, even ITMF has also thought in the similar direction. Now I remember that a common certificate is the solution. So we must push this idea of common certificate by combining various duplicated or uh, un unnecessary or repetitive certifications. Necessary and unnecessary should be earmarked. so this is uh, the appreciation of this uh, audit fatigue a correct suggestion and then uh, what mr silveraj said is also right that we have to understand the innate position of our own farmer we and our own industry which is 80% msme so whatever we do is we have to think in terms of our context so that's why i agree that any system we evolve has also to be india specific because india is slightly somewhat different ethos a somewhat different scenario than other countries now coming to the icsc role i personally feel that icsc was started as a congregation of nations years back and now they are working on limited objective the addition to their objective was made by the addition of private sector advisory committee now private sector advisory committee has been giving various suggestion and out of that suggestion this cafe meeting has been is being held that cafe meeting uh, the present meeting is an invitation to collect the different views which are floating in the in various countries and make it commonly available so icsc has definitely been aware that they must expand their role much more than giving mere statistics or giving stock to use ratio so uh, the ambit of icsc needs to be revised so that now traceability i i agree with uh, sanjay ji that uh, what is the necessity of traceability now traceability necessity stems out of the consumerism which is taking shape in the world the consumers why with each other to find out some distinction of some kind that see what i am giving is uh, highly climate friendly highly sustainable so sustainable word 
is survival, but it has become a boot word, making it little confused and uh, in, uh, uh, including so many things. So we have to simplify the things so that the progress can be made. And that's where I agree uh, that uh, we have to simplify as well, according to Mr. Jain says. But the raison d'etre is the consumerism for tracing. Uh, now, finally, ICAC today has excellent uh, papers on technology. Now, the technology papers of ICAC remain more on the, on the academics and it is not being used. I personally see that Am I audible? Suresh Bhai, ah. you are audible. Yeah, you are audible, sir. Absolutely audible. So now, so what we should do is, we should expand the role of technology adoption so that the cotton productivity and quality of the cotton improve so as to have substitute to, uh, uh, to the man-made fiber. Today's meeting that can on this platform, we invite through the tag, the textile advisory group, can we have, uh, you know, send an invitation to ICAC, can they do something, what they have been uh, new, remarkably doing in African countries, can they do that in India? Suresh Bhai, um, uh, uh, Dr. Keshav Kranti just shared during the city conference, they were stated that India about the founder country okay. in ICAC. We shall try. In the founder country, we are still facing the situation of yield uh, challenge and and a production challenge right now. Can we have you know something on the tag platform for ICAC? I think we have been given an opportunity to make ICAC to also to help us. I think definitely we will do that. And uh, uh, of course, uh, the 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 global best practices, whatever we are getting, you know, they can publish like you know, ITMF. They are coming out with uh, contamination survey. Same way, probably ICAC, even on quality front, they can come out with some survey reports uh, on uh, fiber quality, productivity, uh, kind of a thing, uh, More uh, some more technical details that will help each country to you know, benchmark and improve themselves. Now, other than you know, contamination or seed coats uh, or stickiness, uh, we don't have other uh, any other uh, you know, fiber parameters globally. We don't have. And, you know, even when we talk about the fiber quality parameters, uh, you know, we go by only what the mills are saying. And ICAC being a central organization, probably they can come out with uh, some quality uh, report also by getting the data from the different uh, countries so that it will help others also to progress well. So this is one more thing. They do have a lot of data. They have data of every country. What we need to do is sync that with what, what can we, you know, what can help Correct. India do better. And mm. I think TAC platform, you know, once it comes, because it's a TAC platform also has the two ministries in place. And yes. then, you know, uh, you know, dissipating that to city CDRA or city or or or, or the local associations here in India would be really remarkable. Let them choose a location Definitely. and then uh, we will choose them. But, uh, by and large, we appreciate uh, you know the excellent services provided by uh, ICAC. Though there is uh, some more thing we may expect, but uh, really the data, the report, uh, you know, it uh, have been very highly reliable and helping the whole industry across the world to grow. So our compliments from Indian textile industry to ICAC, and uh, we highly appreciate the services provided by ICAC.